everybody. It's Bill from MattTracker.com, and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. The button's down there somewhere. It helps us grow, keeps us motivated. Uh, there's a join button if you want to donate to the channel. It helps do giveaways like you saw on our last video. Uh, keeps the site running um, and keeps my brain moving. So um, anything you want to do is great. There's no obligation, obviously. I just want Mass to come back, um, and I hope you do too. Uh, there's a shop we have as well. If you want to check out some of the designs we have there, get yourself a coffee mug, shirt, whatever you want. Today's episode is an agent profile on Julio Lopez. Now, Julio, he appeared in eight episodes, and we'll get to some of the elements of you know his actual characteristics and things like that, but. For those of you who don't know the story about uh, my Firefly, um, so when I was younger, this is not the exact one, the, the exact one I don't have anymore. But when I was younger, I broke my Firefly. I broke it here. It's hard to see. I'll take a picture of it. It doesn't come out right. But there's a little spot here. That's where it broke. That's where it opens up. I was so distraught and basically you know, the world ended and my dad was able to fix it by putting a single screw through it. So not only did he save the day um, with that, it kind of shows the, the longevity of these vehicles where something meticulous breaks and you can fix it yourself. That to me screams, you can keep going on this forever. So Kenner did something really right with these, as we know, because they're the best um, and uh, current holder of the franchise is the worst because they're doing nothing with it. So, uh, but yeah, let's get to, let's get back into the profile here of Julio Lopez. Now he's a doctor. We know that. Um, he would appear in eight episodes. His first appearance was uh, Follow the Rainbow, episode 49 of season one. And his last appearance was Treasure of uh, Nazca Plain. That was episode 61 of season one. Uh, he's an expert doctor. Uh, he's an expert at cryptology. He's an expert at aerial recon, which is kind of odd if you think about it. A doctor, I guess that's his hobby. I don't know. But he, he would use that in the episodes to you know, point out uh, where some spots were in, in Firefly. Speaking of Firefly, that's the vehicle he drove in the episodes. Now he did have another one that we'll get to a little bit, but right now I'm gonna focus on the cartoon and the toy line. So Firefly would also appear in eight episodes as well. And this of course is a dune buggy that changes into a rocket glider or a plane or whatever you want to call it but there's a button there to release the bomb and i'll show you in a second this is not a full review of firefly this is just me you know going over what it you know what everything is here um there's the button for the bomb release there right there uh, these bombs are hard to find by the way uh, you're better off probably finding a custom artist who can do it or getting one out of the chili find if you're not sure what that is, look it up on the channel. Um, you'll be surprised. Now, the weaponry on here, you had the tripod laser. You had the prism beams. And then the, the bomb was a basically a stun bomb. So kind of glad I don't have it because I probably would have dropped it and stunned myself. Hold on. There's a battle we have to tend to. Be right back. Who voiced Julio Lopez? If you guessed Graham McKenna, you are correct. Congratulations. You win knowing. We got him. Now back to the show. Now here's Julio, the character. I've shown you some pictures of him in the cartoon. Here's the figure. Uh, very accurate to what it is. Uh, and he comes with the streamer mask. Now, the mask can fire oil, glue, or foam. It's... It's kind of odd, and there's a 
there's a clip here I'm going to show you that people always point out to me. They go, what, what is happening here? Look, I just think it's an unfortunate coincidence that it looks like the way, the way it does. Um, but it's definitely, when you're an adult, you look back, you just kind of chuckle at it. So uh, thanks for that. Streamer, stick them on. The streamer mask would also appear in eight episodes as well. Now we're going to talk about the split seconds toy that wasn't in the cartoon and that many people have their misgivings about, and there's good reason why. And that's Fire Force. Now, for me, I like it. It's one of, I wouldn't say it's one of my top five, but if I was going to rank vehicles, I, I actually like the way this one transforms. I like the, the aspects. It's got good firing mechanisms. And if you want to see a full review of it, I, I've already done that already. So you know, feel free to check that out. Uh, but this changes it to a glider craft into a three-wheeled bike. Um, and it has a couple bombs with it uh, and the bumper shoots. The issue I have with, with the vehicle is the way that Julio is, is looking here. Um, With his new streamer masks, uh, and obviously the clone, uh, the manufacturing of these was poor. The the masks do not stay on the characters. Um, it's it's one of the it's one of the things that I'm I guess a little what upset about the fact that there, there's such a, there was such poor quality in that but they actually did try on the split seconds line to make the vehicles the best they could characters not so much now Julio would appeal one more time as a character in the toy line in a two-pack from europe and this is what he looks like it's repaints of the other characters so and Interesting note that Julio does not appear in any of the playful figures that I know of, just to, you know, for reference. So let me know your thoughts on Julio and Firefly, Streamer, Streamer 2. Uh, let me know your thoughts on anything we've talked about here today. And I'm just curious to know, like, how do you rank Julio, like, through the character list? And that'll be something that'll be coming out soon. I'm going to be putting a list out of favorite characters um and just kind of like you know is he middle of the pack for you is he top 10 bottom 10 you don't have to be exact just throw some in the comments there and um yeah i look forward to seeing your responses hey, if you want me to review anybody next or another vehicle or if you have a video uh post it in the comments and i'll take a look at it as well and as always please remember to like comment and subscribe to help keep mask alive and this is Bill from MattTracker.com, and I'll talk to you later.